Hello That's YouTube. Awesome. Hello YouTube. So, in this video we will be going over talent and class specifications of the Druid for MOP. So, for our level 15 talents we have Feral Swiftness, increased movement speed by 15%. Uh, Displacer Beast, teleports the Druid up to 20 yards forward and activate Cat, Form, and Prowl. We'll be checking that out, definitely. And Wild Charge, grants the movement, a movement ability that varies by shape shift form. Non shifted, fly to an allied position. That could be actually pretty cool. Bear form, charge, immobilizing them for 4 seconds. Cat, leap behind them, dazing them for 3 seconds. Moonkin, bound backward. I'm, I'm pretty sure that means like jump backward or something like that, kind of like a hunter Honest disengage. disengage. Yes. Um, travel form, leap forward 20 yards. And aquatic, swim. Increase swim speed by an additional 150 uh, percent for five seconds. Hmm. So basically, if you spec into that, that glyph now becomes pointless. Which glyph are you talking about? The aquatic speed glyph. Which would be? Which would be? Which would be? Uh... Unless they're getting rid of it. It was. Or they're changing it. Mm -hmm. I don't see it. They completely changed t the uh, glyphs. I see this. I don't. I don't see. It, it's not there anymore. Nope, it's not it there. Was... It is not there. It's now a talent. All right. So I think what I'm thinking, feline swiftness, absolutely pointless, completely pointless. In PVE and PVP, it's just pointless. Don't even bother with it. So you guys either want to go with Displacer Beast or Wild Charge. Uh, for me personally, I like going to make a quick escape. So I'm gonna go with Displacer Beast. Although we will check out Wild Charge with my healing setup, so we'll set that up too, we'll check that out. Alright, so for level 30 talents, we have Nature Swiftness, Renewal, and Scenarian Ward. Nature Swiftness, uh, when activated, next cyclone, da 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 da, becomes instant, free, and cashable in all forms. The healing and duration of spell is increased by 50%. Ooh, that could actually be nice with Cyclone and PvP. What do you think? I do. I mean, it sounds like a lot like the nature swiftness in play, except for the 50% bonus. It, it's been tweaked to make it slightly better. Yeah, although my only question is on this. When you do a cyclone, it cyclones for roughly somewhere between 4 seconds to 6 seconds or something like that, depending on res resilience rating and all the other fun stuff. But will that increase it to be like 8 seconds or something like that? That's a good question, right? I don't know, that would be awesome, because I like to do PvP heals, and that would give me the chance of Cyclone and Run. Yeah, I I think that's definitely, that's going to be definitely something to check out sometime. Although I really don't think that's how it's going to be, because, you know, you know. Oh, oh, it says healing, healing the... it says healing and duration of spell, of the spell. Oh, oh, so oh, it only works for uh, healing touch, nourish, rebirth, or growth. Well, I mean, that'd wait, be... no, that'd be a rebirth and... Wait, no, that'd just be for growth. What the heck? That's not right. <laughs> wait, oh, that's kind is of it sad. Nourish? Is it Nourish a dot? I, I heal over no. time? Okay, no. okay. You can tell how much I play my druid. <laughs> Alright, Renewal instantly heals the druid for 30% of maximum health. Unable... Wait, no, usable. It is usable in all shapeshift forms. Hmm... That sounds like uh, hunter ability. Hun Wait, no, not hunter. Um, priest ability, desperate prayer. Yeah, but see, the question is: is if it's usable in all forms, is it going to pop you out? It's it's going to keep you in, like, say, if I cast that in cat form, it's going to leave will, me in cat we form, right? We will test that. We will test that. I will put on a boomkin spec. All right, <laughs> all right. Forty-five talents. Fury fire, fairy fire. Who cares? Uh, grants improved vision of it, and make, so it makes it look kind of cooler and whatnot. Also reduces the target's movement speed by 50% for 15 seconds. This talent replaces fairy fire. Oh, so this, we have swarm. That's something we'll have to check out. Mass entanglement. So this one's kind of, as its name says, that you just use it and it entangles a crap ton of people. But a two minute cooldown, I don't think that's really going to be as worth it in PvP, in my personal opinion. I think it could be fun, though. You know. Yeah, it could be fun, but my personal opinion, it's two-minute cooldown versus uh, something that's a passive, 
on a spell that's got an instant cast and everything. And yeah, they're all instant, but you know, two minute cooldown, that's way too much for me. Yeah. Now, Typhoon, I think that one's going to be a definitely, definitely an interesting one, especially for healers, because then healers could be up there, up in, like, uh, Harathi Basin or any other, other other area where you can just throw people off of the edge of cliffs. So I think that'll be definitely an interesting for he healers. Hold up. I definitely... Well, I mean, if you can get that for us as a healer, that'd be pretty nice. I know you can get... Uh, as it is now, you get Typhoon as a Boomkin spell. Yeah, but you see, in MOP, you don't get it unless you spec for it. Right. So I think Typhoon will be a major... It'll be... Uh, Typhoon and Fury Swarm, in my opinion, will be one of the major two out of this particular set, the row of talents. But I think Typhoon's going to be one of the bigger ones. Yeah, I think... It's a knockback and a daze. Yeah, I, you know, when you're healing, it's always nice to be able to push everything away from you and be like, get away! Alright, so, so moving on to the next row. We have Soul of the Forest, which is a passive grants a benefit varying on your combat specialization, balance. Uh, you get a bunch of extra energy stuff. Feral, your finishing moves grant four energy per combo point. Mangle. Now generates additional 2 rage and restoration, 50% haste for your next spell when you cast Swift Mint. That's a maybe. I do like casting Swift Mint. Um. You no, know, I will, I wanted to check this one out because it makes you, from what I'm looking at, improves everything just about. Like, uh, balance, improved moonkin form gains 25% more arcane and nature damage while Eclipse is active. So that 25% could be something that's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. And then we have the force of nature, summons three treants, torrents, or whatever, to assist the druid in combat role. Torrents are ca capable capabilities vary on specialization and usable while in all, uh, all shape shape forms now from what I've heard if you use this as a boomkin it heals they heal you Ooh. so that will be something that boomkins will you know I'm gonna I'm gonna check that out uh, disorienting roar this for the 75 row invokes Spirit of Usual Roar disorients all enemies within 10 yards for 3 seconds. Any damage caused will remove the effect. So it's basically a stun. And it's usable in all sh shapeshift forms. Vortex, that's going to be a major one for, uh, for just about anyone. I'll, I'll have to show you guys that one. That one's pretty epic. And then we'll, we'll go, even though I can't try these ones out, we'll still go over them. Level 90 ones. Heart of the Wild. Uh, basically extra buffs for just about everything. Uh, Dream of Scenarios. Abilities, healing, and extra tranquility is not affected. So it increases healing done by your abilities. Well, that's nice. And it increases damage done for a few abilities too. And they last for 30 seconds, that's pretty epic. And then we have Nature's Vigil, increases all damage and healing done by 20% for 30 seconds while active, all single target healing spells also damage a nearby enemy for 25% of the healing done. And healing single target damage spells and abilities also heal a nearby friendly target for 25% of the damage done. That sounds like it could be pretty awesome. And it, well, it has a three minute cooldown. That, that could be the only downside. Yeah, that that's the only downside, but it does last for 30 seconds. I think, that, I think Blizzard will end up buffing the cooldown on this, like making it shorter so it's not as long as the cooldown. Because as, of course, we're still in beta and Blizzard still does changes for everything while in current content and everything. 
So on to the glyphs. You know, I just did a bunch of those, and I don't think they all ended up on my bar. Darn you, Blizzard! No, I don't want that. All right. Yeah, I want action bars. Go boomkin. Go find some trouble. Oh no, no! Oh my gosh! Really, Blizzard? Really? I hate it when it does that. Oh. <laughs> Uh, huh, huh, oh crap. Okay, um, you know what? Screw it. I don't feel like setting up a bunch of talents, so we're just gonna go with that. Alright, so. I'm gonna find some abilities. Alright, there. So we're just gonna test them out. But first, we're gonna go over glyphs. See, cat form increases the healing done to you by 20% while in cat form. Cyclone increases range, dash, reduces cooldown, tickling reach, reduces cast time. Uh, frenzy, oh my gosh, frenzy regeneration. For 6 seconds after activating frenzy regeneration, healing effects on you are 40% more powerful. However, you. Your frenzied regeneration now also costs 60 rage and no longer converts rage into health. Uh, no. That'd I think be a really nice thing for tanks, though. For tanks, yeah, that'd be absolutely amazing. I think it's more but set think, up for tanks. Yeah, I think that's going to be a situational thing. Because if it's referring to rage, that's for bears. I'm not seeing much for what I'm going. Oh, there we go. And that's the sound of my headset dying. I'm plug this in real quick. All right, and I'm back. All right, now. So we got you rebirth. Know, I keep, I keep wanting to like look at things, like use my mouse and look at things, and it just doesn't work. What things do you want to look at? No, oh. it's just like. Glyph of the Moon Beast. Glyph of the Moon Beast. You can now cast Healing oh. Touch, Rejuvenation, Rebirth, and Tranquility without canceling Moon Moonkin form. Thank that you. That is a death. Uh, yeah. Thank you. I, I know someone that's going to end up going um, Boomkin and MOP. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you can it's heal. I mean, it's a good thing when you start healing yourself and you get a slow on you and it pops you out of Boomkin. And it's like, oh, look, I can run again. <laughs> But mm -hmm. it's also so frustrating. Okay. Glyph of the stars. Your moon can for form now appears as astral form. Conferring all the same benefits, but appearing you as an astral enchanted version of your normal human ordered form. That is something that we're definitely going to check out. Grace. Uh, reduces fall damage. And, well, kitty form. Orca. That's something I want to check out. I want to check out Charm Woodland Creatures. I mean, come on. Teaches ability to Charm Woodland Creatures. Allows a druid to befriend a, a ambient creature, which will follow the druid for one hour. No. <laughs> no. I'll try that later oh. on. We'll, we'll try. That, that's not, I don't want to. No. Just no. Okay. Track humanoids. Uh, I'll build, your track humanoids also now track. Tracks beasts. Stag. Wait, what was the stag? Uh, I will be checking that one out. Don't oh, worry. that is cool. That's kind of uh, nice. Teaches you ability, the ability tree and form, shape shift into a tree and form. All right, so oh, yeah, I'll I'll be going stag for this. Wait, what's this? Wait, what's the cheetah? What cheetah? The cheetah. Your travel form appears as a, as a cheetah. This glyph will prevent glyph of the stag from functioning. Okay, isn't are they changing travel form completely or? Apparently, because now now I look like this really weird looking. Oh, this is travel form right here. That's like a stag. Uh huh. I thought you. That's a boomkin. You look the same, except you got a bunch of little stars on you. Ooh. Okay. And that's kind of cool. This kitty, kitty looks the same. Bear looks the same. Alright, yeah. 
and then we'll go stag. And now, people can ride me. They can ride me, and we'll go off and set it off into the wind. Your travel form can now be used as a mount by party uh, members. This glyph so is disabled while glyph of the cheetah is active. So you can only pick one. Because, you know, you someone riding on a cheetah across the barrens is not... Would be very interesting, but I don't think it's very effective. Well, I think that's kind of cool, giving people the option to be a mount. That glyph is going to be so expensive. You know it, because everybody's going to want yeah, it. Yeah, so everyone's going to be wanna prices. wanna have. Yeah, glyphs. Glyph prices will be absolutely <laughs> off the chain. It will be off the chain. All right, so let's try out some of these abilities. So I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to go like this. I have no idea what I just did, but I did something. I did something. Okay, I, I, I have no idea what I just did. Commune with the sun and moon gaining four... Oh, that's that's awesome. Every one second generates the power of the most, oh, the most beneficial. Yes, awesome. That is going to be amazing. That is going to be absolutely amazing. Alright, alright, let's, let's test this out. Run away! Travel form. That's right, get owned. Get owned. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. And hold <laughs> Oh my gosh. Boomkins are doing way too much damage now. That is that is insane. Are you saying boomkins are gonna be the new hunters? I think so. <laughs> From what I'm seeing. Boomkins. Holy crap, I'm procking like a beast. And then run away, back into prowl. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be insane. That is going to be insane. How can you still see me? What is up with that? What is up with you know what? Star search, boom, dead. That that is going to be insane. All right, so soul fragment. Okay, that's just one well, of my trinkets. Anyways, that's damage for boomkins. My add no gems because Blizzard is terrible and they don't give me gems and I'm in a bunch of healing gear because Blizzard's terrible and they didn't give me any healing gear well DPS gear so yeah that's some pretty insane damage for having crappy gear in my opinion anyways let's check out some of this other cool stuff oh yeah I want to check out Aqua Farm Aquatic so we'll go check that out real quick I'll go take a dip let's go take a swim so what do you think druids are going to be amazing or well, I know you play well, Druids, and your Druids your main character, so you know more about Druids. Well, so what do you think? Well, What's think your opinion? I think Druids are already amazing. But I'm very excited for the new revamping and everything. I think the new travel form is going to be cool. I think this Aqua form looks pretty sweet, in my Ooh. opinion. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. definitely. This is definitely so going to be a glyph. A glyph of... Walrus seal, baby. This is definitely going to be a glyph that everyone's going to want. All the druids are gonna want it. They're gonna want to be an orca, because then they orca. can be like, they can be like, all shark, <laughs> our shark man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fail. Can you be like, shoot, stop. No, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm trying to get my camera so I can be all like shark man. Da like da 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 da. da, da, da. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely that's definitely gonna be a, a definitely want by many people. So inscriptionists are gonna make a bunch of buko money. Buko. Alright, anyways, let's try out some other cool stuff. Crap. Did I just really find the Hey look, I found the alliance area. That's pretty cool. Not really. It's kind of depressing. Alright. So we're so gonna So they're go cutting down on the amount of glyphs you get too. They pretty much They've compressed. Yes. That's how I would put it. Compression. Well, you could have had nine and now you only get six. Yeah, but I think they do a lot of really cool stuff. Yes, definitely the orca and the mount. Oh, I, I just remember what I forgot to test out. Alright, I'll, I want to test these out real quick. Okay, nothing really cool. You know, every time I see Mighty Bash, I don't I, I don't read it right. It stuns the target for saying, five seconds. No, but I don't read it as Mighty Bash. I keep reading it as the Mighty Boosh. <laughs> I... I I think all, th all three of these is going to be amazing PvP, in my opinion. Yes, I think anybody who watches this video is now going to giggle every time they see that. My boosh. 
Muddy boots. <laughs> we'll be in arenas going, oh shoot, I'm money boost. I can't cash. <laughs> Alright, uh. I don't know. Oh yeah. What was it that I wanted to say? I said I was going to try. Okay, we'll check this one out. Well, isn't that one that we've got already? That you can get already? No. Yes. You don't get you don't get uh an awesome yes. healing specialization thing. You don't turn into anything special. Oh, you don't anymore? Nope. You don't like get tree form at all? Nope. No more tree form. I'm gonna cry. But you get to look like an awesome tree and run around. Oh that would be confusing. That would be so confusing. Put this on a boom can. Good. Hey guys! Hey guys! Uh, hit me! I'm the healer! I'm the healer, guys! Hit me! Hit me! <laughs> Psych! I'm I'm in the boom can. You just got owned. <laughs> it's like, oh, in your face. Get wrecked, son. Well, that's kind of disappointing that they're getting rid of tree form. I mean, not that everybody uses it that much. And it, I only use it in, you know, necessarily, like, oh crap situations. And sometimes in oh crap situations, I forget it. it's there. But still. Alright, I probably shouldn't really just be throwing these around and whatnot. Alright, wild growth can affect one additional target, but its cooldown is increased by two seconds. Glyph for rejuvenation, uh, when you have rejuvenation active on three or more targets, the cast sum of your nourishes spell is reduced by 30%. That's regrowth, nice. increased critical, stri critical strike chance of your regrowth by 40%, but removes the periodic component of the spell. Life Bloom. Casting Life Bloom on a new target grants the target as many applicants as the old target had. This effect will not occur while in Tree of Life form. Wait, what? See? What? It's still there. What is this madness? It's still there. They're not getting rid of Tree of Life. Tree Ant just makes you look like that. I bet you if you take that off and you go into Tree of Life form, it'll be the original Tree of Life. Because there is a glyph right now that you can Okay, okay. Healing that. touch, glyph of healing <laughs> touch. Um, <laughs> when you, ca you cast healing touch, the cooldown of Swiftman is reduced. Life bloom, something epic happens. And blooming. Increase blo the bloom heal of your life bloom and when it expires by 50%, but its duration is reduced by 5 seconds. And your healing touch, nourish, and regrowth abilities no longer refresh the cooldown. Oh. Means I can go boom, big heal. So we'll check that out. All right. So let's check this out. Stack up three times. Now it works for ten seconds. It still ticks pretty fast, in my opinion. Boom. What's up with this? Blow up, big heal, big heal, incoming. Fifty-six k. Oh, that's pretty nice. Regrowth. Taking damage will grant absorption for every two seconds for to six seconds. Embark the target's skin becomes tough as iron wood, reducing all damage taken by twenty percent. And we have nourish. And we have Wait. my cat in the background yelling at me. Give me attention, I love you. Give me attention. And I'm like no. I'm making a video. Go away. <laughs> don't you jump on me. She just jumped on me. What did I tell you about doing this while I'm making videos? Mm. She doesn't care. No. I don't Absolutely. Think she does. Now she's just laying on my lap. Oh my gosh. Alright, alright, alright. Anyways, a lot of epic things going on with Druids. A lot of, a lot of epic healing and whatnot. I think druids are again and MOP are going to be awesome in PvP, especially with mages. Put a druid and a mage in a twos team, and you've got a mage that can use healing touch if you if they're t tag teamed with a. Um... Oh yeah, I should probably show that. There's an ability called Symbiosis. Symbiosis. You get it at level 87. Creates a symbi symbiotic link, which grants the druid one ability 
belonging to the target's class, varying by the druid specialization. Also grants the, tar the target one druid ability based on their class and combat role. Last one hour and persist through death. Cannot be cast on other druids. Effect, can effect cancelled if the druid and target become too far apart. That's going to be amazing in PvP. Just saying. That, that will be amazing. So we'll I will definitely have to do some PvP with you on my mage. So there's some videos that you will you are getting an inside scope on for MOP that will be coming up once I'm level 90, which will probably take me not too long, but I hope it'll take me forever in a day. It will. It will. <laughs> I have to force you to level because you take forever. I hate leveling. But uh, yeah, druids are going to be amazing. So make sure you. I hope this video helps you guys out. And yeah, I can't jump. I can't jump off this bridge. Darn it! I need to find somewhere high to jump off of. I'll be coming to stag, and control the world with my mighty stag powers. All right, you know what? This would be a perfect time. To show this. All right. So I made this character about three seconds ago. Well, not really three seconds. Probably like t well, about 15 minutes ago or something like that. And as you can see, all of the mounts are shared with all the characters and yeah be like I want this mount and as I said in my pet my pet little pet, uh, pet battles you should probably go check that out because pet battles are going to be absolutely amazing a little inside tip cockroaches will be absolutely amazing and <laughs> cockroaches really? yes because they have a, a little ability that increases damage taken by by your target by like a hundred percent so yeah oh I just thought it's because you know they're yeah. cockroaches yeah that's nah, because you know they can increase your damage taken so hope you enjoyed the video make sure to comment like and subscribe <laughs>